Hello there, Kurt. This is Ron Motter. Good to chat with you again during hey, Responsible Bob. Tourism Week. Great, and you too. We're looking in the left-hand corner, we're looking at uh, Responsible Cape Town website and its live Twitter coverage. Uh, can, you tell me, can you tell us a little bit about ResponsibleCapeTown.co.za? Yeah, sure. Um, it's a new website that uh, was launched by Cape Town and it includes a number of partners who've been involved in some of the responsible tourism activities in the destination. And that's the city of Cape Town, Cape Town Tourism, um, a group called FedHasa that is involved in hospitality, largely accommodation, hotels and so on. Um, Saki, which is kind of our big conferencing and meetings industry association. Um, and then Satsa, who represent a whole slice of the tourism industry, but largely tour operators and tour guides. Um, so together, these guys are the largest um, players in the organized tourism industry. And they've come together in the um, signing of a charter on responsible tourism in Cape Town. And that was one of the key things that led um, Cape Town to win the Virgin Responsible Tourism Award for Best Destination this year. Um, and so this website is not simply celebrating that. It's actually using it as an occasion to, to finally um, collectively share information about what destination has been doing and is planning to do about responsible tourism. And it invites people to participate. And it's also a place where you can go to catch up on what's happening in responsible tourism. So if you're not the sort of person who would have a Twitter feed on your website and catch up on the hashtag RT Week 2010, if you go to this this new website, it'll give you an update um, on those kinds of things. So um, it's new, uh, and it's the start of um, sort of communications about what Cape Town is doing as a destination. And my feeling is that... Um, you know, the award brought a lot of attention to Cape Town and there's some anxiety about providing enough substance to really back it up and um, providing enough information so that people know that the destination is serious and not just one of the role players, not just the grassroots. Um, and so we're finally seeing a lot of the people in tourism coming together and getting serious about this. So we'll see during tourism month, which in, in uh Cape Town since September, we'll see the launching of action plans from each of these five groups and and so on. Beautiful, beautiful. Can you tell us a little bit about this Green Goal Award? Definitely. I mean, that's the responsible tourism element of the Soccer World Cup, which, as everyone knows, is uh, you know less than three weeks away. And Cape Town is one of the host cities and is very excited about that. And um, there was a program called Green Goal launched in Germany in 2006, that involved really the greening of the Soccer World Cup then. And in Germany, the issues were more around environmental um, concerns and carbon offsets and waste stream management and so on. And in South Africa for 2010, the same program was picked up, but it really was pushed more into true responsible tourism. So picking up the three pillars of sustainability. Um, so yes, the environmental stream, but also social and economic issues to make sure that there's um, the full balance. And the Green Goal project really found its biggest um, foothold in Cape Town. There are some national plans, but Cape Town really took this on in a big way. And there was an action plan developed. What you're showing now is the progress report that was done kind of midway through the project. And there will be a legacy report done afterwards. And there are 41 projects in nine different areas in the Green Goal um, action plan. And it's about things like um, getting recycling programs in place along the walk from the major transportation hub in Cape Town to the stadium, getting food providers to serve things um, in, in you know, buns or bread and not in polystyrene packages. Um, it even went so far as to have the new Cape Town Stadium using the rubble from the demolished old stadium and its construction to reduce the carbon footprint of the construction of that new stadium. There's a biodiversity park that's adjacent to the stadium um, and, and on and on, like I said, 41 different projects. So 
the green goal program is really trying to bring responsible tourism to a major event like the soccer world cup and they just don't get any bigger and this week uh the green goal project in cape town won the impumalelo sustainability award which is the big national award in south africa for sustainability so that was really a fantastic thing let's go back one um, second, to have one happen one second let's go back to this can you this go is for it. uh tell me about this award what is this Imp impumalelo so um, Pumalela is uh, succeed in Isiklosa, and in Pumalelo is success, and it's um, in it's it said innovations awards, and one of the Pumalela awards is around sustainability. So there's a big national competition around um, you know projects that contribute to sustainability in South Africa. So the Green Goal Project was selected as this year's winner, and there were a bunch of nominees and a bunch of finalists. And if you go to that website, uh, you'll you'll see all of them, and there are video clips and profiles of those projects. So it, it has been a catalyst for driving awareness of sustainability, and um, it's been a lot of fun as well as people collaborate and talk and share. So I thought it was great to see the Green Goal Project win. Hey, one question: How far are we until the beginning of the World Cup? Twenty-one days. Who plays the first game? <laughs> South Africa and Mexico. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Hey, thank you very much, Kurt. It is. Ron, always a pleasure. Uh...